Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about mesh errors. In some situations, you're going to find that your meshes fail. And in this video, I'm going to show you some solutions for when you encounter such a problem. Let's begin with a right click on the mesh node. Select Create Mesh. Let's expand the mesh parameters area. Let's make the global parameter 40 millimeters. So this is obviously too big. But let's accept that value and click OK. And here is our expected failure message. Mesh creation failed for the following parts. So let's click OK to exit the error message. And let's edit our mesh. Right click, Create Mesh. I'm going to expand the Advanced option. Let's check the option Automatic Trials for Solid. We can choose the number of trials below, let's say 5. A reminder that this option is available for solid meshes only, not for beam or shell meshes. I'll left click on the up arrow to nudge the value up to 5. You may be wondering exactly what this option does. If you check this option, if you have a mesh failure, SolidWorks will automatically try to recreate the mesh for you for the number of trials that you specify using a smaller mesh size and a smaller tolerance value. The tolerance value specifies the distance at which the nodes merge. If it's less than what we see here, the nodes will merge. I'm going to show you where to set this option in just a second. For now, let's click OK to accept this mesh. So here our mesh has been created successfully. And as you see, the mesh around the hole is smaller than in the rest of the body. That's my clue that SolidWorks had to do some recalculating to get that part of the mesh right. Let's click on Simulation on the main Windows menu strip, scroll down to Options, and let's go to the Default Options tab. Select the Mesh branch. Here we can set the default number of trials. It's currently set to 3. We also set the numeric values for the factor for the element size for each trial and the factor for the tolerance for each trial. What these basically means is how much smaller the mesh size and the tolerance value get with each trial. OK, let's cancel out of the Options window. And now let's explore a different scenario. Right-click on the Mesh node and select Apply Mesh Control. Let's select this face. The size will be 0.25. The ratio will be 1.5. And let's click OK. Now let's recreate the mesh. Right-click, Create Mesh. I'll accept the default values that I've got here and click OK. SolidWorks calculates the mesh. And we have a problem. The mesh has failed. Let's click OK to exit this error message. Now let's right click on the mesh and select Create Mesh. Under Mesh Parameters, we've got two options, Standard and Curvature Based Mesh. The Curvature Based Mesh creates more elements in places with higher curvature value. In the fields below, we set various parameters for the element size. The top field is the maximum element size. Next is the minimum element size. Third, we have the minimum number of elements in a circle. This value has to be a number that's between 4 and 36. Of course, the higher the curvature value, the more elements in the circle. The last option is element size growth ratio. And this number specifies how big the next element's layer is compared to the previous layer. I'm going to leave the default values in place, and then I'll click OK to see if this works out better. And SolidWorks calculates our mesh. And we've created the mesh successfully. This concludes our overview about resolving mesh errors. 